Much needed rain still falling across parts of the area and thankfully flooding was minimal and fairly isolated. Now we still do have a flash flood warning. This really was from storms earlier in the afternoon. It was extended until 615, but the bulk of the rainfall is long gone from this area, at least the heavier rain. We have had some additional showers at times heavy, mainly from the eastern part of our warned area deeper into New Orleans East, kind of continuing into extreme southeastern St. Tammany as well as the Mississippi coast. More rain, though, is moving mainly across the uh Biloxi Marsh and farther south of the Chandeliers. We'll see if these hold together, kind of moving over some of the same areas. Down along the Louisiana coast, some showers, thunderstorms rolling across southern Lafourche. Moved across uh, Grand Isle, looks like maybe getting a little bit of a break. And then in our Bayou Parishes, rain still moving across Homa, but weakening as it approaches Thibodeau, at least at this hour. This again is all thanks to a disturbance that is out over the western Gulf waters. Kind of a broad spin you can really see on our visible satellite here, but this is not at the surface. This is a mid and upper level disturbance and at the moment not likely to become a tropical system, at least the way the models have been trending. Much of the area got rain, about 80% of us and some got some big soaking rains, officially 1.14 inches of rain at Kenner and possibly some more as we continue through the afternoon. 81 right now at the airport with a dew point of 75 and our high today kind of misleading at 90. That was set just before 90. 9 a.m. Then temperatures started to come down as clouds and rainfall increase and our low for the day. As a matter of fact, we're about normal, but the low was rain cooled air set at 1:30 in the afternoon. Then temperatures kind of rebounded 70s and low 80s outside at the moment. 70s and 80s at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Not a bad thing in August, but usually the only way we can get a cool down is with the rainfall. High humidity, so there is plenty of fuel for these showers and storms in the coming days and plenty of fuel is one thing. You need a triggering mechanism and this is it. That upper disturbance is going to keep our rain chances on the higher side, really from the western Gulf and the adjacent waters into Texas and much of Louisiana. This is a look at the model or a model look at the instability in the atmosphere, more the triggering mechanism and this low is going to kind of meander for the weekend, not the entire holiday weekend because there is some good news. While our rain chances are still high tomorrow and Saturday, they will start to taper off by Sunday. Sunday and Labor Day as the high or the low gets shifted a little bit more to the south and this upper high builds over the area. This should start us drying out, but also heating us up. Now we'll get our much needed additional rain in the coming days, and I say much needed because at the moment risk of flooding is very, very low, probably kind of like we saw today, more of the nuisance flooding and more isolated in nature, and then we will begin kind of a drying trend as that upper high builds in. So we'll have another day of probably several rounds of heavy rain at times throughout the day tomorrow. I have a set about 80% we'll start to see those rain chances decreasing a bit, but still a fairly wet day on Saturday. Sunday will be a bit drier and still drying out as we continue through next week. As far as the additional rainfall accumulation totals, another one to two, maybe one to three inches, especially along the Mississippi coast. The bulk of the rain will be from the city toward the coast, two to four inches, maybe more wide spread and then right along the coastline four to five, but Chafalaya Basin may see five to seven plus inches of rain. And with that additional heavy rain, we do have a flood watch that'll be in effect from today through tomorrow. It'll be a reassess to see if it's needed for our Saturday rain chances out in the tropics. Again, we've got the one little area that we'll be watching, not highlighted though in the Western Gulf. Also a wave that has been coming off of Africa that a lot of the long range model guidance indicates will likely develop into something. Don't be surprised to see this area soon highlighted by the Hurricane Center and they have increased the chance of this little wave developing at 40% right now. So medium percent chance probably it by this weekend. Today's Thursday, so maybe late weekend or early next week as we get September started. Once we do start September, a lot of the models are indicating a bit more activity developing across the basin. So not a big surprise as we've been saying September is by far far our busiest month not developing anything nearby anytime soon, so we are good for a little while longer. High temperatures kept in the 80s with our better rain chances. Not a bad Labor Day itself. Overall, kind of a wetter weekend, but fewer showers by Monday and into early next week.